Hi. My name is Amazing Bullock, and prior to this unit, I knew little of the men that had occupied Monument Avenue, all except for Arthur Ashe. I had driven past these men every day before going to school and not twice about these men. These same men that had been on the wrong side of the Civil War. Having their statues up on Monument Avenue reflected our city, and our city is no longer the capital of the South. As an African American, Arthur Ashe was a very interesting man to learn about, not only because he was a Richmond native that I already knew so much about, but because he was a man of great talent and initiative. In this unit, we wrote letters to our mayor where we took sides on different viewpoints. Before writing the letters, we got a chance to talk about our various perspectives with each other and a chance to see that this issue was not a very black and white one. My classmates have strong opinions and to see them go back and forth showed me that there are going, there are going to be people that have different opinions on issues and different stances. And even though I don't agree with them, it's valuable to understand their points. When writing my letter, I addressed that there should be more statues on Monument Avenue that show people who did great things. And one of the people that came to mind was Maggie Walker, the first female bank, pre the first female bank president to charter a bank in the US. She was another important person to Richmond. She even had a school named after her. In my letter, I explained how it would be amazing to have a statue of her about a year later, and there was a statue put up on Broad Street, the heart, and city of our, the heart of our city, for everyone to see. The addition of this monument just shows how our city can change, like my own views on how these monuments reflect our city also has changed. I would definitely say that this unit has helped me to understand that these issues may not be the same or as they appear to be. To close, here are two other voices of my, per, of my peers, Justin Daniels and Kamari Branch, who also experienced Ms. Callahan's unit and considered their voice in the role of public art in a new way. How did you feel about the Arthur Ashe Monument Unit? Well, I think it was a very important unit for us to have because it, it really just saddened and, and angered me that we could have monuments to people who stood for the enslavement of black people. What impact did it have on you as a student? Well, really, it just opened my eyes and it awakened me to the subtle notes of racism that go on in our society. Did this unit change your opinion on public art? Well, originally, I didn't even really see the monuments as art. I didn't really see them at all, to be honest, because they were just there. But now I can only think about them and only see them as things that glorify people who stood for the oppression and enslavement and general torture of my people. I really enjoy writing the letter to the mayor. I enjoy writing the letter to Mayor Stoney because it reminded me that I could impact public art with writing a letter. Like I, what I say can be significant to other people like the the government and the administration. Maybe it won't cause a direct change, but with all of us, if we all have something to say about it, then maybe they'll listen a little bit more. They realize we have important thoughts and what we have to say. We do care. It's not, we don't care. And I feel like public art should reflect the public, it should reflect the people who live in Richmond. There's not only old white retirees that live here, there's a lot of different kinds of people. There's a lot of diverse population here and we need public art that reflects that. I would like to thank all of you for inviting us here to share this with you today.